It's a beautiful bacon day, Cookie Crusaders. Today we're going to be using the current meta team, which is Avogadro Cookie, Eclair, Caramel Arrow, Financer, and Cream Unicorn. The way this team is set up, and the reason it is so powerful right now, is that Financer is set up to protect specifically Caramel Arrow with the attack setup, so that the attack is boosted from Caramel Arrow, which is already strong and critical as it is. In addition, the speed from the robes and the topping setup means the Caramel Arrow is going to put the max amount of stacks for critical damage on the enemy team, and in addition, fast auto attacks as well. Also, a Claire is going to be giving us shields on our team. Not every time, but at least every time that we can take out specific units. So things like Expresso, Vampire, we get those strong hits with a Claire's weakness on them. That's going to give us shields on our team which is going to help us push through just a little bit faster. Avogadro is a big key in this team setup for two reasons. Any shields that the enemy has can be dispelled because of Avogadro's curse, and any buffs that would go to the highest attacker on the team are actually going to not happen. So in this case, that should either be Caramel Arrow or Expresso, unless they have their Vampire set up as the highest attacker, whichever is the case. They're not going to get the damage resistance buff from Cream Unicorn. They're not going to get the critical resistance buff. They're not going to get any of that. And so that's going to be very helpful in our situation. And even further so, since Financer is set up on their team to give a shield and a buff of attack to the highest attacker, since there is no Cloud of Cream on their team, that means Avogadro is going to be countering Financer Cookie too. So that's a big reason of why Avogadro is so important here. Now with the toppings here, I won't really change much of them because Avogadro and Eclair are running a specific way for my guild boss team, so I can't really micromanage their toppings too terribly. But if I was to make any change to make this team any stronger, I would just get attack toppings with high damage resistance on Avogadro so that there was more survivability. Beyond that, I wouldn't really change much else, and you'll see why. When we send the team into battle, Caramel Arrow was going to be getting the buff from Financer on our side of the team. Claire's going to be running that weakness. Cream Unicorn's going to be doing that burst healing, which is only going to get stronger because of the speed. We have the curse going on to their enemy team, and as you can see, we've already wiped away most of their team. We do end up losing Avogadro Cookie, but that's just because of the lack of damage resistance on our side of the team. But everyone else is handling beautifully. Caramel Cookie is going through and just dealing massive, massive damage to their side of the field. And it is a little bit of a crit RNG situation. If you do not have high critical stats, if you don't have high crit labs, it's going to run into some issues. But as you can see, 4.4 million. Even though their Caramel Arrow did do more damage, we were able to snuff out the others so that they could not. In addition, they also didn't get as much healing done from their Financer, but their Cream Unicorn did pretty well too. So it's a crit RNG. If you do get good crits, you'll take them out faster. You'll definitely take them out a lot easier. And if you have more damage resistance on your team, that's going to matter too. And one thing to prove that this team that the enemy is running is strong, if you take someone like this into battle against them, it's going to fail horribly. Reason is, Espresso and Caramel Arrow are going to hard counter this team. And I'll show you right here. Even though it's a strong team, got great toppings on it, and it was meta just about a few weeks ago. Expresso is just going to absolutely eliminate the team itself. And even though we have a mass amount of bodies going against the enemy team, they still just take the advantage and deal absolute killing blows. It's a good fight. It's a good setup. But it's still really, really tight. Like, they're able to keep up with it. Looks like we will probably end up taking the win anyway, and if that's the reason in the case, it's most likely just because of the sheer amount of damage that Oyster at 2 star promotion, or sh should I say 7 star, I guess 2A, 2A star, I believe that's the term for it. Like you can see here, their Expresso should have done a lot more damage, so whatever their setup for Expresso is did not activate correctly, and Oyster was the main clutch on our team. But we, we barely beat that one. Like, that was a much tighter race than the other team. Much longer, much harder. So, just wanted to showcase that 
the reason this team specifically working is just the synergies between all of them and how they can handle against the enemy team which in mo most pvp teams it's handling against right now so this is this is a very powerful team doing very good but avogado's curse is really the main reason that's carrying the strength of this team and of course eclair's shields are a real huge benefactor as a backup plan if they are a strong defensive team too hopefully this video is helpful for you and beneficial for your pvp grinding i know that the arena season is going to be ending soon i believe specifically in let's see 13 days seven days seven days left seven days left to grind out your season and get your rewards don't forget that the Grandmaster tier event is still going on if you've forgotten about it. So if you go to the event tabs, Path to Victory, there's still the event going on. You're probably not terribly far from the level 8 jellies of 500 of them. Highly worth it if you can get up to there, so that way you can get your cookies leveled up and you can keep in the battle and the competitive spirit like everyone else. So I definitely recommend pushing that PvP rank if you have the option to do so. Let me know in the comments if you have any feedback or any any specific modifications to the team you'd like to see, any specific toppings that you want to cover. I'd always love to hear it, and as always, it's my pleasure to try and help you build the best experience for your gameplay altogether. Thank you so much for stopping by, and have a wonderful day.